Hi, I'm Steve Miller, and this is a Market Brief. We're going to look quickly at AT&T, which had its biggest drop in almost a year today. AT&T came out with news that they are spinning off their media division, getting a bunch of money for that and going to pay down some debt, and at the same time, as they say, reset their dividend. AT&T has been a value stock and a big dividend payer, and that has attracted investors, though the stock has been pretty much stuck over the last couple of years. I'm going to show you that chart, and you're going to get a pretty good idea at what we look at. In the meantime, what I want you to do is to uh, make sure if you're watching this on YouTube, put a thumbs up, like the video, follow us on Twitter at Ask Slim, go visit our website, AskSlim.com. You're going to see the great content that we put out, and you have questions about our content to trial memberships for new members, write to Matt at AskSlim.com. Okay, we're going to get into this market brief on AT&T, and what I want you to see is an AT&T weekly chart. You can see that big decline that it just had today, uh, as you look at, actually, this is this week, uh, as it's fallen some 10% during that period, pretty big decline, though it had another big decline right over here. Of course, that was during the COVID crisis, but it never really recovered, as you can see that. In fact, only getting about halfway back up before moving again. So how do we really know the timing? How do you really know when you might want to buy it? Well, we're going to switch over, and I'm going to let you see our drawings on here, and those notes are going to show you our cycle analysis. Cycle analysis looks at the flows of money and repeating rhythms in the market. It's the heartbeat of the market, and you can see the important lows as they come right over here and right over here, and then another one do right over here. This is the dominant cycle, and you can see how it's shaping up. These are the minor cycles, which you can see a small cycle here and another one here. And when they come down together, that's when you get the biggest declines and when those declining periods end. You see that happened here and here and now going on here. That gives you an opportunity if you believe that the stock is a buy, investable to you, and that the time frame would be in the next few weeks that you're about to make that low. Even in the worst case, it probably gets some support around here, 27 to 28, and then probably has another trip to the upside. So you can see you can still be collecting those dividends if that's what you want to do, and potentially have a pretty good entry on the stock. Of course, this is not a buy recommendation. This is educating you on the cyclical rhythms and the way we work out the time frames when it be, might be most advantageous to be a buyer or a seller. In this case, it gets up to a pretty similar resistance that it did out over here, comes down very big on the news, and the question is, will this reset that they're doing of paying down the debt and focusing on gro other growth areas, will that be enough to really help the stock? Well, that's the brief in AT&T, and I hope that that gives you some great information. And uh, I want you to make sure that you go to AskSlim.com and look at uh, other things that we have to offer, tremendous content. And write to Matt at AskSlim.com if you want more information. That is the market brief, uh, and we will see you in the next segment.